Hello, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. These are your September 2022 predictions. We already have one card that I had for my short series energy sneak peek. It's a card from Akashic Records, and it says, You deserve to be happy. Number 11, if you're seeing 11 a lot, you got synchronicities, yeah. Good things are coming, okay? We already have this card. Let's have more cards to see the bigger picture and more messages. Let's grab the Angels of Romance. Let's see what's in love, what's in relationships, what's in the matter of your heart. Oh, we got two cards! Okay. Okay. Nice, complete message like it okay uh, new love and let go of control issues let's see what message is there from the abundance angels for fire signs september 2022 yeah it's a good month for all signs i'm feeling this strongly no more complaining yeah that's a good advice <laughs> Definitely good advice, yeah. And the message from Archangel Raphael about your health, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetical. We can be healthy in so many ways. Okay. After your main reading, we're going to see what is your power affirmation for this month. And then the angels are going to answer your question with yes or no. You can start thinking about your question now. Okay. But first, your main reading. Okay. Hmm. I feel very stable energies, finally. Because many of you are feeling like you're, like you're struggling for some time. There wasn't like... The, the, the struggles weren't so catastrophic. Maybe for some of you it was really hard, but for a small percentage. But many of you it was like work-related or some changes you didn't really like. Or some adjustments to things that you thought were unnecessary. That's what I'm hearing. But all of this is clearing out in September. Oh, and there's finally some sense of peace, okay? And the Akashic Records are telling you, you deserve to be happy. Oh, I've seen a white feather floating outside in my window. So look out for white feathers. They can be signs. Take whatever resonates, as always. Okay, you deserve to be happy. So number 11 and white feathers are signs for you, okay? You deserve to be happy and to be amazed with your life, okay? So, uh, practice gratitude, okay? How do we manifest happiness? We practice gratitude for even small things, okay? Uh, if you'd like to practice gratitude more, I have gratitude meditations on my channel. I have uh, affirmations to reprogram your mind to be more positive, okay? So if you'd like to use those, the links will be down below in the description. Feel free to use that. They are really, really helpful. So, yes, okay. I'm seeing that those cards should be together. You b deserve to be happy and no more complaining, okay? The Angels of Abundance are giving you a general message. No more complaining. What is complaining? Complaining is uh, kind of wishing for the worst for yourself, okay? If you're complaining about something that is triggering you, triggering your anger, fear, sadness, you are bathing in its energy and you are attracting more of it into your life, okay? So no more junk enchantments because that's what complaining is, okay? When you're complaining, you're in a bad energy. And then the happiness is moving away from you. 
okay? Because you do not match in frequency. So, let's read the card. No more complaining. Oh, see? Yeah. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. And that is what is going to happen in September on many levels of your life, okay? When you choose to stop complaining and to affirm gratitude and love, and to switch your mind to those high frequencies instead of complaining, you will see that you deserve happiness and you can create it, okay? Especially in love and relationships, okay? We've got this let go of control issues card. Allow this situation, situation to unfold naturally, okay? And we also have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, for many of you, take whatever resonates, singles, you can meet someone new. A new person can come in and many of you have some issues with control. You want to know how everything will go immediately. So, either you're asking a lot of questions or you're creating pressure energetically when are we going to meet? When are we going to kiss? When are we going to go to date? Uh, he said he'll call, he's not calling. Those situations are here to trigger you to let go of control issues. And for singles, I see two scenarios. They all, uh, uh, in love, they all involve letting go of control issues and new love. So, first scenario is you meet a new love and through that person, you are transforming uh, your control issues through uh, stopping the complaining act. Because you would usually, okay, what for those of you who resonate with this, you would usually meet a new person and, that, and have this control issues that like, oh, I want him to call this time, do this and that, oh, it's been three days, he should have called, and oh, I, I, I imagined it differently that he would act like this or that, or why didn't he buy me flowers, see, all this control, ah, I, it gives me a headache, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, that was not me personally, but I've heard someone on the other end saying, this gives me a headache. And you can say that to that person or you can send just brainwaves with thoughts and they still receive it, okay? And that's still complaining. So that's, that's like your pattern, okay? And through this new person, you, you are going to finally let go of this toxic pattern and choose not to complain, but to affirm someone positive. So, for example, oh, he didn't call me back ever, okay, I guess he doesn't respect me, let's uh, move on and see who else can I meet on my path, okay? I'm grateful for this lesson. That's just like one thing that can happen. As always, take whatever resonates because this is a collective reading. Or, uh, so, first case scenario, new love leading to you transcending your control issues and choosing the vibration of happiness, okay? Another situation uh, is, I mean, they're kind of, uh, they are kind of connected because then the first case scenario can meet another new love and it can be something more serious and what you are looking for. Another scenario is that you're meeting a new love you're letting go of the control issues together because you both have those issues but your relationship that is starting through conversation and through choosing not to complain but to be open you are transcending this pattern as well but you stay together okay those are the two uh, sorry it was very confusing for me too but those are interacting together interacting energies and collective energies so sometimes it's 
hard to put them together so let's do it again first scenario you meet someone he or she is triggering your control issues you see that it's a toxic pattern you walk away through no more complaining and then you meet someone else after that which can be promising and another scenario number two you meet a new love you both have control issues you can't let go of that but through being honest and open in conversations you are working those issues out together and you stay together okay so those are two possibilities okay it's not all gonna happen in September okay it's just being initiated in September but the bottom line is you will finally realize that you deserve to be happy and you can create your own happiness okay and a small side message from Archangel Raphael about organic foods dear Archangel Raphael thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products so many of you for months were eating trash food fast food fast or not at all or like you weren't eating for the whole day and then in the evening you were eating all the meals at once so your body is kind of tired okay or maybe yeah you were not getting enough nutrients take whatever resonates as always but Archangel Raphael is telling you that he suggests as always that it's time to eat organic foods more fruit more vegetable maybe cook for yourself instead of taking a take out okay from McDonald's <laughs> so yeah get rid of fast food habits and take care of yourself and eat more fruit and vegetables because you are going to need it and need the energy and your body needs it because you're pretty tired after those few trying months okay so stay healthy guys okay oh sorry Another story popped in my head as I was getting your affirmation uh, for uh, people who are all already in relationships. Um, I don't know, this message is pretty chaotic. So this month can be chaotic as well for you. Many changes. But remember, no more complaining. Okay, so for those who are in committed relationships, you um, might to have work out through your control issues. It can be yours, it can be your partner's, it can be about jealousy, it can be about managing time uh, or, you know, you want to do something and your partner doesn't want to do something or they don't want you to do it, but remember, you can always do whatever you would like and there will be some life lesson and I'm feeling for both of you, especially if your partner is a fire sign as well to let go of control issues, to sort it out, and then this new love, I mean, I'm not saying breakups, maybe for a small percentage of you, but you deserve to be happy, yes, if your relationship is super toxic and you're gonna feel like your partner is controlling you, yeah, then it's time to move on to something new, but I'm saying that this is a small percentage of you, mostly, mm, yeah, you are going to be in a situation that is happiness to you, okay? So, uh, if letting go of your partner is happiness, then yeah, do it. But for many of you, I'm seeing that you're working through your issues and a new breeze of love is entering your relationship. Okay, uh, that's the additional message that I saw. And now the affirmation for September for fire signs yeah a lot of things are gonna be going on so really put some good food in you because you're gonna need the energy to figure it all out but remember try to figure it out with your heart that's where the intuition is okay your affirmation is with happiness I am welcoming the challenges and I am determined to stay on my path. See, I told you things are going to be happening for you in love, but also in other areas of your life where you are passionate at, okay? But 
yeah, remember, the key is to stop complaining and to welcome everything with open arms as a lesson, as a, an experience, as something that enriches you and helps you grow. And yeah, help your body grow through organic foods. See? Growth, growth, growth. I'm seeing a lot of growth for you. You are transforming. Yes, beautifully. Beautifully. Hmm. Last stages, that's what I hear. Okay, fire signs, beautiful. Think about your question that you have that can be answered with yes or no, because in a second, the angels are going to answer them. Okay, let me shuffle those. Focus on your question. What is it? What do you want to know? The answer is yes or no. Okay. Take a deep breath, connect to your intuition. Feel which answer is yours, which card is your answer. If you'd like to pause the video to take more time, feel free to do so. And now we'll see your answer. Card number one is yes, and card number two is no. Okay, fire signs. If this resonates with you, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, find me on Facebook and Instagram, and that way you can see uh, the extra content that I'm posting there about astrology, magic, uh, energies, and uh, when you are a member of our community, when you subscribe, you can win a private reading for free with me. Uh, what is more, if you'd like to purchase a reading, uh, please feel free to contact me via email. We will figure it all out. Uh, they are personalized readings, so it's always fun. If it resonates with you, please contact me. Okay, fire signs, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and everything good.